Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about application performance monitoring because this is really critical and very important aspect once you deploy your microservice and we are going to use uh, new relic and key metrics tools. We will just look around how to set up these tools for your microservice which is just deployed or uh, which you are going to deploy and you have planned to monitor those microservices using a new relic and key metrics. So new relic and key metrics tools you can easily plug in with your microservice and they give you a vast I mean the huge analytics they give you everything about even per API analytics what is the database performance how much memory you are consuming you can also check about the event loop uh, latency how much delay is happening on the event loop and uh, how much your database queries are taking time and what is your overall API performance I mean individual API you can trace and also wherever it is deployed the server uh, metrics so let's do the setup first we are going to talk about this uh, key metrics I mean it is plugged in with the PM2 PM2 is a process manager for node.js I mean you can just use a PM2 and you can just log in and I here I have logged in and here I can just enter the bucket creation that will just create a credentials for you and now you can connect to this monitoring platform either using docker container or you might be deploying your application just on server what we are going to do we are going to just run this whole thing on our uh, simple system i mean i am running this application locally so i will just link this particular node.js process with the key matrix so this is my simple application i installed pm2 and node version and i can just try to install the pm2 on node version 16 and then pm2 link this is actually the command which it is providing us pm2 link and uh, i mean i just copied the command from key key metrics and now your system and the key metrics cloud has a connection all your analytics can be sent to the remote key metrics cloud and here i'm doing pm2 start and here we can just do the build because we are running this as a node process right so pm2 start npm run build it will give me the main.js file and i can run that using pm2 start paste folder that that has main.js file so src main.js file it will just start the node.js process for me i mean this is how pm2 works it is it has created one process and now you can see when you see the key matrix it you can see the all the analytics which are popping up here the runtime metrics i mean you need to upgrade your plan if you want to just use a uh, lots of other analytics like uh, api performance uh, all the different graphs and analytics are available here i just see that okay how much memory it is consuming what is the api performance event loop latency all the basic heap uses heap size basic graphs i am able to see but if you have a extended plan you can see a lot more than that the next thing we are talking about new relic new relic is also like apm tool for node.js process i will just log in and here i can also do the same kind of thing which i was able to do on the key matrix i logged into the console and here i can set up for the node.js currently i am going to show you the demo so i will try to configure the new relic for my node.js nest.js process so here you can just go to the select node.js okay we are installing i mean we are configuring the new relic on the host or you can configure it on lambda container here you just create a key because this key will be used to connect to new relic cloud and push your analytics from your local to the remote and then it's very basic thing you just have you just export all these environment variables or you configure new relic.js file but now it is this is how it is done i installed new relic.save and then you can just use these environment variables new relic app name new relic license key and uh, the file name this is how we are running it configuring is very easy here you can see in our application we will just export all these environment variables i think we need to upgrade uh, our node.js version it require node greater than 18 and we have used uh, v20 so we are now using the latest node.js version and then i will just hit the same command again it just using it just using this new relic key after running the node process and here you can test the connection 
that are we able to connect to our system or not and here your complete uh, performance metrics will start popping up i mean i don't have any i just have a hello world api but when you have like lots of apis which are being used in production then you will have lots of uh, apis configured here and you will start seeing the heap graph uh, appendix score all the api performance graphs what is the throughput and what is the api performance in milliseconds or what are the how much time your individual api is taking all those things you should be able to manage and you should be able to see even database queries like how much uh, your database queries are taking time to return the data what are the transactions service map even you can configure lots of things because new relic is contains almost everything so this is all about apm tools we have covered uh, key metrics how to configure it and new relic how to configure it now you can try it by yourself or you can just try it with your container no uh, container or lambda or if you are deploying this application on ec2 or some virtual machine virtual box you can do that